Welcome to The Pass. I am Obi-Ron. With me in studio is Constant. What up? Out there in Denver, Colorado. Turtle. I'm doing good. It's cold. It's 26 degrees out here. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's cold and here. I, I might have been the only person yesterday both watching the Sunday football games and the CFL Grey Cup. <laughs> uh, probably guarantee that you were one of the very few that were actually even knew that the uh, CFL Grey Cup was yesterday here in the United States. I yeah. had no idea until you mentioned it at all. Yes. None at all. Props to the Calgary Stampeders for their CFL championships. Yes, I knew they were going to win. I just felt it. Th- they looked good all year. So it's Monday, and that means it's time for the NFL injury report. Uh, actually, it's funny because when it gets this late in the year, you know, we were talking about hey, maybe we'll, we'll lay off on the injury reports and start talking about guys coming back. Actually, it's not a great week for, uh, for a few of, of the uh, athletes in the NFL. Uh, we'll start with uh, Houston's. I don't know how much of this you guys saw, but Houston's Justin Hunter, who went out of the game, came back into the game, and then went to the hospital. Uh, he had a has a lacerated spleen, yeah, uh, and so they're taking care of that. Uh, he did not return home to Houston with the team, and uh, his, likely his season is over. I'm sure it is, um, but possibly worse than that in Cleveland, Miles Austin, uh, Miles Austin uh, again took a hit, finished the game, then back then down to the hospital. Uh, he, he's got some kind of kidney injury. Uh, they're doing the analysis there, but I mean, mm. this has the potential kidney damage. If you lose a kidney, you can't play football. Your spleen is even worse. If you don't, if you don't detect the spleen injury in enough time, you can die from it. Oh yeah, like, you bleed out. Yeah, yeah. Like kidneys, you got a little while. You know what I'm right. saying? They're gonna do whatever, and the other one's gonna take over and pull the load. Like your spleen, you can, you can bleed out. And, yeah, because that almost happened to uh, Phil Sims's kid. Yeah. Uh, when he played for, I think, the Buccaneers or something like that. He was a quarterback, That's and right. he got a lacerated spleen. Chris, was it Chris? Chris Sims or something so. like that? I think so, yeah. yeah. And, I, and I didn't know then. Chris I was Sims. like, oh, he lacerated his spleen. They were like, yeah, he could have died had he not got to the hospital on time. And I was like, dang. Yeah. So a couple of very bad injuries <laughs> right there. Um, but possibly, and this was not necessarily game-related, but it did happen in the last week. I'm sure everybody's heard about this. But uh, Turtle had not, so we bring it up. Kansas City lost uh, Eric Berry. Uh, over the last week uh, when they detected some sort of mass uh, cancer uh, in his chest. And yeah. So that is certainly season, if not career ending. And, and of course, we wish him uh, all the very best. Uh, Turtle, other than that, all I got for you, three more injuries to the Arizona Cardinals. As if it wasn't bad enough over there. Um, they lost Andre Ellington uh, with a hip pointer. That's going to be week to week. Uh, probably will miss a, a week, but you know, uh, maybe not. It depends on the severity. He, he's a bum if he doesn't play. But go ahead. Well, I mean, at this point, right? Hip you, pointer, you need to come back and win. A hip pointer is a hip pointer, but it's a bruise. It could be really bad. It could I, have muscle I've damage. Had one, I, I've had one before, and what happens is you're fine until like if you start. And you play, yeah. you're good. Then you go to the locker room and yeah, everything up. tightens up. Yeah, right. And then you can't move. But I was stupid and I didn't stretch when I came back in. I would just went out and started trying to play again. Ow. So, but if you stretch, it loosens it up. Right. So that's why I mean he's. I mean I, he's obviously not a bum, but I yeah. mean like he's a hip pointer is probably not going to keep him out in the state that Arizona's <clears throat> in. Same with Tyron Matthew in that thumb. So Tyron Matthew, yeah, he broke his thumb, which sounds horrible, but again, He'll be back. break is probably better because exactly, you go and you set it, you get a cast on, and he should be able to, to get back in there next week. But sure. obviously, and, you'll want to keep he's an eye a, on him. And he's in the secondary, so right. it's not as though he's a linebacker with a broken thumb or right. a lineman. Right. I, I, I Although think, with a cast on, catching becomes more difficult, but, but it, it doesn't stop from knocking anything away. I was going to say, in the secondary, if you catch it, that's the bonus. Right. You should catch it. But as long as you can knock it down, we can yeah. play another down. So yeah. these guys should t- – they'll probably – I would imagine they'll play. Yeah. And then uh, Paul – I'm going to kill his last name. Is it Feneca? I don't know. I think it's Feneca. Paul Feneca, uh, oh, high nice. ankle sprain. No word yet on the severity of the high ankle sprain, but if you've been paying attention, you know, this could be a week. It could be four, depending on the severity and, and if there's any other – uh, secondary damage has been done, but I guess the ult- ultimately the bad news is is no one of those three injuries is necessarily uh, significant, but three more game time injuries on top of Carson Palmer 
you know, they're, they're, they're hurting. They're hurting over there. And uh, they want to make that run to be that first team to play the Super Bowl at home. Uh, they're going to need everybody that they can. So that's your injury report for this week. Now on with the regular program. Right on. <laughs> right on. Because there's a lot, man. Did you guys see...